All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our brand new episode of Planet Zoo and our JCP build, my friends. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to say if I'm a little quieter than I usually appear, uh, it's because I'm having to record this very, very late at night. My wife and Emily are fast asleep in the other room, so I'm trying to do my best as to not wake them and let them sleep. Uh, last episode, my friends, is linked above for you right now. Can I just thank everybody for the comments, the likes, uh, the I got on that last episode people absolutely loved the uh, tropical house build they absolutely loved the final product there are still a few bits and bobs and touches that I need to do to it but I'm so happy that I was able to basically deliver on the promise of uh, bringing a South American tropical house to this project my friends um i've already given away what zone's been um <laughs> been voted for um by showing this screen basically but i am going to put the results of the poll uh, on the screen right now uh, you will remember you had zones b and zone c to vote for 12 votes for zone b only two for zone c so that, my friends, is what we're going to be doing. Um, I just want to say there's going to be a slight change to today's episode. I'm not going to be going through comments again. There is a big reason for this, and you will find out the reason for it when we get to the zone um, part of today's episode. I'm basically putting um, the future of the series firmly in your hands so stick around for the zone part you are going to play a huge part in this series going forward my friends um as well as uh, zone b i will just show you i've already unlocked it everybody so this is the area we are going to be working on the most but as well as that we hit our like target uh we set a like target of 50 likes uh, every episode and um i haven't done it in this screen but in the live stream we took this square here and it actually came in very very handy uh, and you're going to see exactly why uh, when we get in to the build section of today's episode basically um, so what I'm going to do with the power of editing I'm going to skip forward five years and I'm going to explain exactly what we're going to be doing in today's episode and so we're back, ladies and gentlemen, five years into the future. And uh, now, basically, what I'm going to do is discuss exactly what the plan is, what I'm going to try to achieve. And then when we get to the build section, you'll be see, you'll be able to see if I've done it or not, basically. Um, so the big thing is this area. We need to address this area here because this is zone b this is what you guys have chose to unlock and i guess this is the main area that i really really need to get working on in this episode um i've changed my mind there is a change of plan i'm going to explain exactly why if you've watched the live streams this week you know why i changed the plan i've kind of explained it to you already but for the people that don't watch the lives and you you tune in for these episodes i'm going to explain to you exactly why i decided to change my mind where this area was concerned now um the original plan for this area was to have function suites back here potentially you know people could get married have parties uh businesses could have you know office parties that sort of stuff um you know big business events and things like that could take place basically on the zoo this is a very popular thing especially for the bigger zoos and uh, we were going to try to incorporate it into jcp now the problem that we've got is that the sight lines are not very good uh basically it would have been really nice for it to back on to the to this lake onto this little rivery section here but the sight lines are not very attractive they're awful you would just see the back of this building and uh, you know even if you were in sort of this square here um, you would see the tapirs but also you kind of get this pretty ugly look at the back of our tropical house and so I just really didn't like it so what I've decided to do here instead, I'm going to turn this into sort of our vegetable patch. We've been talking for a long time about having a compost heap, uh, an area where we grow our own crops, potentially trees, fruits, vegetables, that sort of stuff. Um, I kind of see this area as a perfect sort of part to do this. I think that this is going to be very close to sort of like our big animal hospital, which I kind of see being this way uh, eventually. And I just thought like the, the placement of it was perfect so essentially what i'm going to try and do is do some sort of like raised bedding some greenhouses some storage uh potentially a compost heap a road system some pavement and stuff like that uh, to really just sort this sort of staff area out back here basically and i kind of want to do it so that our staff can use it walk through it and they will walk through it uh, so we can have some activity in it at least for uh you know as and when at a later date we do our 
um, animal hospital and stuff like that. The other thing I want to get done in this episode as well is I want to get all these flower beds tied up if I can. I want to get the ant eaters uh, dark house and habitat put in and I also want to get this park and this field area all tied up so that this is done. And I, I'm, I've, I've been looking at the series, I've obviously been looking at the episodes and I'm trying to obviously carry on following the narrative that you guys supply me now obviously there was another section to the narrative that was left in a comment i haven't ignored the comments uh obviously i know that's two episodes now where i haven't put the comments in the episode um but basically i kind of see this as the end of chapter two the reptarium was chapter one uh the minute we built built this this is going to be the end of chapter two once i finish this work and you're going to see that because you're going to get offered up a lot of zones when we get to the zone section and like i said the power is being firmly put back in your hands ready to start chapter three that's kind of how i'm doing the series and uh that's why i want to tie up all these little things that haven't been done yet i do understand this park here hasn't been done either but remember this is something that my wife and I are going to be doing together so I don't know when we're going to get around to that having what we're having like an 11 week old um, at home but yeah the big thing today veggie patch compost heap that sort of stuff uh, we're going to do this park get this field put in get the anteater done and uh, basically ladies and gents that's what I'm about to crack on with so let's jump in to the build section and so we are back, ladies and gents, in the build section of today's episode, and I have got lots to show you as we tie up chapter two of uh, JCP, basically. Now, I know that's a new thing, chapter one, chapter two, all that stuff. Um, that's never been discussed before, but it's something I was thinking about this week, and I think it makes perfect sense, basically, to kind of go down that road and go down that route. But anyway, let's get into the build section, because that's what you're all here for. This is what you're excited for, and uh, yeah, I'm going to show you what I've done. So this is the area that I was talking about, basically, uh, and the rethink and the, you know, the redesign of this area, essentially. And uh, this is what I've come up with, basically. So um, there is a staff, um, like a staff house there. So I wanted a little seated area out here for our staff. Um, I am aware they don't use the benches but, uh, and, and stuff, but um, it's always nice to put this sort of thing in because it finishes areas off. Um, and then, yeah, we've got our planters, basically. So over here, we've got cabbages and tomatoes and all sorts of stuff in these raised beds. Uh, this is the first of a couple. Uh, we've got some sage and stuff going in here. I have left some spaces as well because I want it to look like it's like freshly planted and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we've got that going in on over here. And then over this side, you'll see we've got pumpkins and cabbages and other bits and bobs just to try and change it up a little bit and uh, give it a bit of its own look, basically. So yeah, that's the first two parts. You will see we've got a couple of greenhouses as well. Um, I thought these were really important, basically, to get something like this in this area. Um, you will see that one of them is decked out with a load of stuff plenty of sort of plants and lights and all sorts of things um you know as always in true dan fashion i've kind of gone to another level with the detailing and whatnot um and i'm really happy with these i'm really really happy with how they turned out um i built these live on stream a lot of people uh would join me when we did it we had a lot of fun doing them and uh, i think they've really really turned out nice uh what i've done with the other one they've actually left this one empty um basically i kind of see this one as the crops have all kind of been taken out and we're getting ready uh with the boxes and whatnot um and and our, you know, and our bits and bobs down here, we're going to get ready again to uh, to start again, basically. Uh, we don't always have to fill everything up that we build. Um, sometimes it's nice to have empty buildings because um, that happens at the end of the day. Not everything's got loads of stuff in it. Uh, obviously, these little props outside, these really bring areas to life. Uh, again, some more benches. I wanted it to be so that it was like a this little seated area and whatnot. People could sit, take their lunch and all the rest of it. Um, you know, our staff get to have a bit of time to themselves a bit like the guests do at the end of the day um over here i've done a load of plants so basically we've got like saplings and basically someone in the chat on the uh, live stream said that maybe the zoo would grow trees themselves that would eventually be planted in the zoo and i quite like that idea so i've kind of gone with it uh here we've got some apple trees um and so 
yeah, just kind of went with a different style here. I've been dying to use this path, uh, but just never had the right sort of time to use it. But I think it really fits in this area uh, really, really nicely. As you can see, there are some unfinished edges, but a lot of that is just uh, because we've got sort of like these uh, areas that are not unlocked yet. And so uh, I can only go so far, basically. Um, come over this way and we've got sort of like a big storage unit. Um, lots and lots of bits and bobs in here. Uh, as you can see, all the wood that we've been building in all of our planters and whatnot uh plenty of sort of wheelbarrows and all that sort of stuff but this is essentially sort of like a very similar one to that we've got over near the games box but uh the inside uh, the design is ever so slightly different um, and obviously we've filled it up with a load of other stuff that we didn't over the other side because the needs and stuff over here are very very different uh, we've got our road system all put in as well um, I've gone with quite a unique sort of design uh, over here uh, but yeah the road system looks pretty decent this goes out onto like the main road as well uh, so our staff can use it and there are actually staff paths uh, all underneath all of this so that our staff can actually walk about back here and uh, as you can see this joins nicely up to the back area of our lemurs and this is obviously our um, house one of the houses for our tapirs so yes yeah, pretty interesting actually it makes for a pretty interesting viewing from certain points and uh, I think it looks really really nice obviously a bit more planting I'm um, trying to disguise this area from our guests um, there is one sort of viewpoint here uh, from over here where you can see the backstage area but it's one of those things you, you, you're never going to be able to hide everything and uh, it is what it is basically um, here got a little compost heap um, I've just kind of used mulch basically uh, to kind of build this uh, I think it looks half decent and uh, we've got these little storage boxes some spades and whatnot uh, I've really tried to think the area through um, a digger and all this sorts of stuff and uh, just trying to fill the area up obviously again not finish this area off because um, we can't go any further so I've kind of left it to the imagination and as you can see plenty of planting along the road so I've, I've stopped it for the guests basically guests can't go any further uh, up this way um, I've stopped that um, by putting this little design in here and then from this point on just planted a load of trees and whatnot i do need to finish these road markings um i did start them but just need to finish them off uh, but yeah that's that area basically uh, a lot of people might be looking at it thinking it's dead space but i just think it, it is a beautiful filler i just think it looks really really nice and especially when you kind of zoom out and you look from a distance that is a really really lovely filler area and you know you need these you need these in these big zoo builds you don't want there to be activity absolutely everywhere and especially like mass activity like we've got in spots um you know in this zoo at the end of the day so it was needed i think it fits this area nicely and especially if we were to do an animal hospital sort of this way uh, i think this breaks up the area really really well uh next up I'm going to show you what I've done over here and then we'll finish with the dark house I think uh, because I have managed to get uh, that done and just before we do that you will see um, that square is unlocked here oh I've actually got this stuff to show you as well completely forgot about that because obviously I did that in the live streams but uh, yeah this is what we've come up with for our um, for our park uh, here I've kind of raised it up uh, on a level I kind of put this flooring in um, I will be honest I downloaded this off the workshop and then edited it um, to how I wanted it to look. Basically, um, I think this is in Topola Zoo, which is a which is a pretty famous series um, that uh, I think uh, quite a few really well known sort of um, creators are involved in. But uh, I just really really liked it. I uh, basically I spent a couple of hours trying to build something. I didn't really like any of it. I had a quick look on the workshop and I found this, and so I just kind of edited it to fit our zoo a bit better. And I just think it looks really really nice actually. And I think sometimes with this sort of stuff it, you can get away of it um, a little bit. So the way I've done it as well, just to kind of break it all up. Obviously we wanted a little field area didn't we for people to you know be able to put yeah picnics and put rugs and stuff down on the floor should they wish so i have done that but also i've kind of put this pathing in uh for the playground at the back obviously little access points here and here but uh, at the at these two points as well and then just really really heavily planted with the trees all around the edge because the other side of those trees is where the jaguars are uh, and we're going to get into that in a moment because there's been some small additions kind of like to that area um but yeah i've done 
I finish this planter off uh, to kind of finish this area off so that's all done and dusted now uh, so yeah this this area here is officially kind of finished uh, with this last planter gone in and this park so that's really good to be able to say that um, obviously these planters were unfinished before then are done and dusted um, again we've gone with this sort of very newly planted designs so there's lots of uh, mulch that you can see but i quite like it i quite like the fact you can see the mulch and maybe at a later date we'll get some plants and uh, we'll make it look a bit more overgrown uh, once they're grown in maybe in chapter three we can uh, add a bit more uh, most of the planting's done around here uh, the only bit i haven't done is this little section here i want to make some cogs to put in that are kind of a nod to our tropical house um, and i think that'll be a lovely addition um, to the build now before we go to the anteaters dark house and look at that i just want to show you some backstage stuff so this is the dark house and anteater we'll come to that in a moment but uh, as you can see this is all fenced off now staff gates put in and uh, we've done some backstage work basically um so obviously the road system is starting to be begun over here but um yeah this is essentially um a kitchen uh, this is another kitchen we said we were going to put these all over the zoo uh, and i've done another one here so a big kitchen and there's a little staff room there for it as well we put some racking in um, i probably need to add some boxes and things like that but yeah just a pretty basic building really kind of sticking with the style that we've gone with before a little bit of planting and some benching outside and then uh, we've got our power and our water units housed inside here um and uh, I think that's kind of like the best way to do it. This area here, um, I've done this basically on the back of the Jaguars, everyone, because um, a lot of zoos do this where um, the zookeepers will do sort of like touch training with the animals and feed them and stuff like that. But also VIP guests, you know, zookeeper for a day, that sort of stuff, they would be able to feed the animals and they would a have an area like this uh, at the back of the habitat. So I thought it was kind of a perfect way to use this bit of space up actually. Uh, and so I've done that. Obviously we've double gated because that's that's a big thing that zoos do and uh, yeah I think it looks quite cool actually uh, from this point of view as well um, this is sort of how the backstage looks now uh, you're gonna see that uh, you can slightly see it but obviously the plants do help you can see the fences but uh, from this angle you can't really see a lot now because all of these trees it makes it look even more dense uh, than it looked before and I'm absolutely uh, in love with uh, the way this area has come together and the way it looks and especially in love with the way uh, the park is here you can't see anything beyond it and uh, you know like if you were coming from this is essentially going to be you know the African area if you were walking back from Africa you would turn the corner and you would get a small look at the tropical house you would see the park you carry on walking and then the tropical house then uh, comes into full view and I just really like the way that uh, it's come together basically um to finish off the build section of today's episode i'm going to show you the new um anteater area basically and uh this is what i've come up with um we dropped down a level again so we put in some stairs and obviously some access planting once again uh, i did start some vines and i didn't get to finish it i just basically run out of time and really needed to get this episode recorded um but yeah i'm probably going to cover all of this in the uh in the ivy and i might cover a little bit of this bit as well but this is the outside of the anteaters um I was doing a bit of research. They do require some water. I think Combat Wombat, who is one of the uh, viewers on this channel, actually said to me that um, they do require uh, bathing, a bathing area. So that's what I've done. I've kept it really natural uh, the same way I always do. We've dropped this down at the front um, because I wanted to guard against them being able to clamber over because these are relatively, you know, sh you know, short offences, basically. But uh, yeah, just wanted, kind of wanted to stop that. But planted it up quite nicely and the outdoor area um is pretty basic but um it's nice that you know we have got sort of two areas for the anteaters basically and uh i think it looks really really nice especially with all this stuff next to it uh and the way it's all been planted up like the pathway down here looks really nice as well um this is of course going to be backstage area not got around to doing it yet um uh, basically because we haven't unlocked all this so I didn't want to take the mic and start building in but we do need to get these unlocked at some point so I can finish off all the backstage uh, back here now um, it is a little plain I'm going to just put that in there the the people area of this is a little plain but we step inside and uh, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn 
I'm going to go to night because this is a dark house. And so I'm going to take this to the night so you can really, really appreciate it in it in all of its glory, basically. But um, but yeah, this is sort of like the the area that the people are going to come. I think we need some stuff on the wall, but obviously because it's a dark house, it would be quite difficult to read without putting lights on it and stuff. So I'm not sure what to do. Um, you will see, obviously, this is lit up because that's just the way it is. We do have some uh, education and stuff in here. And I've also put um, a donations box inside here as well. But yeah, um, basically, you know, answers on a postcard, what you think we should be putting in here to try and liven it up a little bit because um, I'm really, really not sure. But uh, this is the bit that you're probably all really interested in. And this is the Ant Eater's night house um basically i've made all these lights a really really dark blue and it's given us this lovely sort of look to the habitat um i've mulched the bottom i've gone heavy on the rocks we have forage boxes uh two forage boxes inside it and then just a load of sort of uh tropical plants and stuff like that to try and uh get it to get it to come together now i know that um you know some of these indoor enclosures probably wouldn't be this heavily planted but this is kind of like an extension so to speak of the tropical house uh, in my opinion and so i wanted to go as heavy with the foliage in here as i did over in the the tropical side this is just kind of like a dark version of what we've already done uh, over in the big south american tropical house um you will just you know if i take you from another angle uh, so you can see the mulch a bit better from this angle, uh, uh, whether or not you like that or not, I don't know. I don't really like the lines, but it's one of those things. If you turn it up the other way, you don't get the texture. Um, so I, I kind of wanted to do it like this, but yeah, it come together quite nicely. These plants worked an absolute treat as well to kind of cover the ceiling and stuff and give us some height and whatnot in here. Uh, as you can see, you know, rocks, uh, we've got a foliage box here, we've got a termite feeder up here you will see that our anteaters are already in here enjoying their enjoying their dark uh their dark house we've got a male and a female um and uh they're going to become obviously big parts of the zoo i am sure um when you come this way there's almost like an airlock type room here and this was just to stop the light from the outside uh getting inside basically um it's after doing a bit of research it's something that um zoos would do if they had a dark indoors and a light outdoors basically um so yeah i tried to do the best i could that's what i come up with but um but yeah i think this looks pretty cool like obviously we don't have the the starlight effect on the ceiling that maybe people would have wanted but i have gone with this blue light instead and i just think it gives a really really lovely effect um and you know from certain angles I just think this room looks lovely. I think it looks really, really nice. And um, I'm quite happy with it. I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm like a, a amazed by it, but I'm happy with it. I, I do think maybe I could have done a bit better um, if I'd have had a bit more time, but maybe uh, at a later date, I'll go back in and I'll sort it out. Um, I'll show you what it looks like during the day and you'll, you'll see that it just doesn't look a half as good basically during the day does it it looks all right it don't look bad don't get me wrong i still think it's a beautiful building but um it really comes to life when you turn the lights off and uh you can really appreciate um you know the the sort of effort that we've gone to to try and br bring it into this sort of like dark room uh that we've done but yeah that's that ladies and gents that's essentially us done and dusted uh here's a here's a good look at that building um from the outside and uh here's a good overview of uh just how much space uh, and eaters have been given basically i think we need to do like a big sign um and, and name this building but i'm just not sure what to call it so uh yeah suggestions um in the comment section below basically and then uh, as you can see path it comes to this point i've kind of cut it off i've given up and uh yeah that's the end of chapter two uh this is all going to be included in chapter three um i did discuss in the live streams that i was thinking about doing an animal um but i thought we've done the anteaters i didn't want to do too much and uh and give too much away basically on future plans or anything like that but i think we can all appreciate just how amazing um jcp is looking <laughs> Okay, my friends, so now we move on to zoning. Um, you know the rules by now. They're on the screen. 
take a good look uh, at the rules just to refresh your memory or if you're new so you can learn basically but essentially we vote on zones these days uh, depending on how many squares are including in a zone is how many uh, years we move forward basically last few times we've moved forward it's been like five years uh, nothing more than that but we are now at a stage where we are about to start chapter three uh, I've kind of talked about these chapters during the course of today's episode and that's kind of how I'm looking at it now uh, I think that maybe sort of every so many episodes we will move on to certain chapters and uh, I think that we're ready to start the next chapter basically and so I have decided that rather than me sit here and give you um, a rundown of what I think we can do with each zone I am going to just leave it to you guys I am opening up um, I am opening up uh, JCP to you once again. Obviously, when we started the series, we started the series with zero ideas, and uh, Jaroff came up with the idea that we started this reptile sort of conservation club. We did that. Uh, it, it was a great success. Then we moved on where we opened some big squares. We started the new entrance in the bigger part of the zoo. We've come to the end of that. And now I need you guys to get heavily involved again and get your fantastic ideas into me. Um, there is going to be one zone that you're going to see is a zone that we've talked about many, many a time. I'm going to leave it in there. Whether or not you choose to pick it is entirely up to you, but I am going to leave it in there basically. And uh, that's the only zone that I'm putting on offer that we know what we're going to do with basically. So um, instead of going zone A, so on and so on, I'm just going to put them all on the screen at the same time. You're going to see them on the screen now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, basically zone... Uh, C, I believe it is. Is it zone C? It might be zone... Yeah, zone C, I believe it is. Is the one uh, that we're going to do our second um, reptile nursery and research centre in. So, obviously, that's the only one that we have an idea for. Um, as far as the other zones are concerned, uh, the one above zone C, um, I would suggest potentially that's going to be part of Africa uh, because uh, off in that direction, that is going to be our big African zone. Uh, then you're going to see the... Um, you know the zone sort of like north of um the south american tropical house i don't really know what to do with them uh, i'm going to say potentially maybe we move into asia do we move into north america um i'm not sure uh the zone that's gonna be over near where the uh, vegetable crops and that are uh, i don't know maybe an animal hospital uh is one suggestion maybe but you know i'm leaving it up to you guys so what i want you to do this time is essentially vote for your zone in the comment section so basically write your comment i vote for zone such and such uh, and then leave your suggestion of what you think would be best to do with said zone uh, and then essentially i'll count the votes up the best zone uh, will obviously win as it always does and i think that what i'll do is i will basically take all the comments for each zones and try to combine them in the best way possible and then that will be the beginning of chapter three and the start of a brand new part to the story of jammy conservation park so we finished today's episode ladies and gentlemen as we always do with um, some animal management basically and nothing more um, I'm not going to be doing any tours I'm not going to be walking around the zoo or anything like that because we've got some stuff like that coming up real real soon um, I just need to move some stuff on basically and uh, get this sorted out um, as you're going to see we do actually have four tapirs now because we've got two inside the tropical house and two in the outside area. That's something I probably should have filled you in on. Uh, you will see our capuchins are breeding away. They've got some loads of babies, which is really cool to see. Um, the same can be said for our uh, Gemsbok. Also, something I need to keep bringing to everyone's attention. If you would like an animal named after you or you've got a name suggestion for any of the animals, feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to rename the animal for you. Um, as you can see, we've got loads of Garials once again. Um, we've got Bruno and uh, and Diane are our giant anteaters. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool to have those here. Um, we have no gear monsters to work. Ah, that's why we've got two females. I've had, a, I've had a bit of a nightmare there. So we're going to have to get a male gear monster. That's for certain. Um, I think I might move this one. Oh, I can't release that one to the wild. Of course I can't. Do you know what? I'll keep them. But we might have to get a male gear monster in today's episode. Um, so let's move all the youngsters on. That's what we really, really need to do. Oh, and one of our Komodo dragons. The died of old age. That day was coming. Um, I had seen 
that was uh, that was going to happen soon. So let's move all of these guys on. So let's release those to the wild. Um, so that's those guys. Uh, Flamingo's population is ever growing. Um, you will see the Jaguars have had a cub. Uh, we named him Leo in one of the live streams, which is pretty cool. Uh, so uh, Gorgira is on his own now, basically, because uh, Diane, Diane's no more. That is sad. That is very, very sad to say. Um, well... Okay, so one, two, three, four. I might keep one of these guys back, actually. Let's keep one of those guys back. So let's move them on. We get five for that. Uh, I think we should probably deal with this. We'll call the vet because she's died in the habitat, which is not great. It really isn't great. Um, so, yeah, I think we're just going to let Mr. Gougia see out his days on his own, I think. I don't really feel like there's going to be too much point um, getting him a mate at this point in his life, unfortunately. So we'll let Gorgia see out his days on his own. That's sad because obviously the Komodos have been here for a long, long time. And um, it's never nice to see one of the OGs of the zoo pass away. Uh, Mr. Peabody, by the way, talking of OGs, is still alive somehow. Pretty incredible. Um, we have got all these babies um so what i'm thinking is potentially a male or a female we hold back and then we just get them um a partner basically to breed with um that might be an idea um the lima population is going a bit crazy um we're just gonna move we'll keep you one two three we'll keep you oh no we've got you there we get one, two, three, four. So let's move those guys on. I think that's gonna, probably going to be it for the animals that we need to move on. Ringtail lemurs are going to be towards the bottom. And then I don't know if there's anything other than those down this low. Oh, yeah, we've got salties. Um, okay. And then we've got our two yellow anacondas. Okay, so that's cool. So what did I say we needed to get? A gear monster, wasn't it? So let's have a look. For gear, 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 gear monster. We need a male, don't we? Um, that guy is pretty decent, actually. Let's uh, let's adopt you, and then we will send you to the exhibit, so we can continue that breeding program going. Because I I must have had a bit of a brain fart that day when I uh, when I got rid. Um, staff levels were okay. Food, I am just going to check that everything's at the right level. It is. Uh, but yeah, staff levels are really good. We are training up our staff. Um, let's just continue to train up the staff that need to be trained. Uh, lots of training taking place. There we go. Can't train you yet. And there we go. We're done and dusted for another episode of uh, Planet Zoo's JCP, basically, ladies and gents. So, uh, I'm going to finish today's episode by basically saying to you guys, uh, get voting on those zones. And remember, you need to write the zone that you're voting for and then leave me a suggestion now you can do it a number of ways ladies and gents you can just leave me the animal you might want added you might leave me an idea or you can leave me narrative that gets added to the story i am trying to do my best to continue the narrative on uh, that we started right at the beginning of the series so yeah feel free to leave me your ideas your suggestions in any way possible but please 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 don't forget to leave me the zone that you want to go alongside your idea and suggestion feel free to keep leaving me names for the animals if you want any of the animals named after 
after you and uh, as far as next week's episodes are concerned my big plan is to put a proper zoo tour together um, and so we zoo, we'll go through the entire zoo we'll tour it we'll take a good look around at all the little bits and bobs uh, I might add a little bit of a cinematic to the end and that will be going out maybe on um, maybe on Thursday or Friday um, and then we will premiere that so I'll sit in on the chat and we'll watch it together basically there will be no build episode next Sunday um, because obviously I want to get all of your ideas suggestions and everything together and then um, go through them all with you in a very special episode before we do any um, before we do any uh, building and stuff an animal has escaped apparently no it hasn't there's basically an area inside where it says they've escaped and they never do escape so yes yeah, a little bit strange but uh we are done and dusted my friends i do hope you've enjoyed today's episode i really hope you like the way jcp's come together as the heavens have opened and uh, it rains paws cats and dogs uh, but my friends i'm done and dusted if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button if you've enjoyed this drop me a like uh, that's the best way to really support the videos and help more people see the stuff on this channel you'll find links to discord socials all that good stuff in the description box make sure you go follow that to become part of the fantastic community that we are building but my friends until next time have a good day enjoy yourself and i'll see you ready next time for chapter three Oh yeah! <laughs>